So my name is Esther Bartel. I've been an uh, IT consultant um, for over 20 years. And uh, these, most of these 20 years I focused on end user computing. Started out with the traditional virtual desktops or RDS uh, that turned into VDI as we know it nowadays. But then I kind of found a new passion in automated deployments and automated configurations. So I'm slowly moving towards more uh, process automation, DevOps, and uh, having a lot of fun combining that with the EUC world. So my perspective on the EUC market and how it's evolving is of course a bit uh, linked to the fact that I'm transitioning to that more DevOps focused role. So for me, it feels that it's very important um, that we're not just uh, continuing with the same solutions, but we are adapting to what Microsoft now, for instance, calls modern IT, which means that we have to consider more cloud services, but also have to take into account the automation to have a fast delivery of new applications, application updates. Um, and I think we're even transitioning a bit more away from desktops and are focusing more on applications and then, well, um, SaaS, all the kinds of different applications that you see nowadays. So for me, first of all, Parallels REST is very different from the other players. And I've had the privilege of working together with uh, most of the players in the EUC industry. Their difference for me is, first of all, it's an amazing team of these passionate engineers that really understand EUC and where it's evolving to. So they are focusing on also finding the gaps in uh, the solutions that are currently out there and turning that into some awesome feature sets in their products. And for me personally, it's the way they respond to any feedback that we're giving them. You can really see your feedback quickly being translated into product innovations and product improvements. So I see Parallels technologies evolving um, mostly by seeing that they are finding the gaps that we currently have in the solution stack. So EUC has not been the most innovative in the last couple of years. I think we could have been way more innovative, especially with the pandemic, putting the focus on working from home and finding new ways to be very collaborative and very uh, effective with uh, remote applications. Um, so what I'm seeing is that they're really uh, stepping up the game in innovating new technologies and new ways of looking at how can we deliver applications uh, to our end users, make them very efficient for them to use, but also ensure that we incorporate nowadays uh, security uh, requirements that are out there. So in my opinion, I think Parallels really is head on with uh, understanding where this market is evolving to and quickly turning that into a feature set that will definitely help you. As mentioned before, Parallels RAS is very innovative. That also means that they understand that they need to integrate with great market solutions like Microsoft Azure Virtual Desktop technology. Uh, what I love about that is that they really looked at some of the added value that they can bring to the AVD and um, still stay true to um, the original architecture of Azure Virtual Desktop. So it's not about building a whole new solution, but being smart with the current infrastructure that Microsoft already provides and then have the opportunity to really focus on an added feature set that AVD is not yet providing and maybe not even focusing on right now. So that helps me at least in making sure that if I have these use cases where I have specific functional requirements like secure access to web applications, for instance, or adding more context awareness than Azure uh, virtual desktops are currently providing, then I can easily add Parallels RAS on top of Azure 
and then um, have that fe feature rich um, experience for my end users. So what do I love about Parallel Laraz and Wingu technologies? Um, well, I basically can only answer by what's not to love. It has so many answers to the features that I need, to the functionality that my users would love to have in their day-to-day -day, um, business tasks. Um, and I think they really understand what our customers need, what we can provide in translating their functional needs to Tec technical solutions um, and the other thing is that they have this drive to really uh, bring that rich user experience to the end user and listening to anything that we as partners and consultants um, can give back as feedback so yeah I think it's a match made in heaven so to say oh, um, thoughts on the v uh, VIPP program um, first of all, I, well, when I started, I was super excited because this was the first time that uh, I was entering a program that was so eager to listen to my feedback, to have these awesome follow-up questions that made me realize that they really valued the feedback and wanted to fully understand where I was going or which feature set, which functionality, which, um, maybe even sub-focus on other technologies needed to really bring a rich user experience to my end users. So thank you, first of all, very much for asking me about my vision on women in tech and how to make sure that we make the EUC space very inviting and inclusive. Uh, well, n well, maybe not just for women in tech, but for diversity in um, the true meaning. Because for me personally, I r quickly realized as a woman in tech that it's not just about gender or uh, what I bring to the table, but diversity is so much more about learning from each other's viewpoints to find creative solutions for any challenges that we might face. And that can also mean cultural differences or geographic differences, or maybe even different technology backgrounds that makes us look at the same challenges that we have in EUC right now to enrich that user experience or to enable our users to, to be more effective in collaboration or any business applications that um, they use in their day-to-day -day tasks. And um, I think just having that opportunity to learn from each other's viewpoints, not just enriches me as a, a consultant in, in striving for that better solution, but it helps everyone to realize that um, there might even be some solutions that we even <laughs> didn't see or, or think of. So I think it's not, like I said, it's not just to focus on women in tech, but let's make sure that diversity means that we learn to better collaborate and better communicate about our viewpoints. That's it. Thank you very much.